In the event of a release material jam, we will want to follow these steps to work our way down the material pathway to locate and correct the cause of the jam. The majority of release jams can be resolved without canceling the print in progress. After each step in the troubleshooting workflow, resume the print to determine whether the jam has been remedied. If not, proceed to the next step. For this procedure, we will need the following equipment. Some tweezers, a torque wrench with 7mm bit, a pair of purge rods, some cylindrical brushes, a replacement release nozzle, replacement feed tubes, and some anti-seize lubricant. We will begin troubleshooting a ceramic material jam by unloading and then reloading the filament. You can reference our material loading video for more information. Once the filament has been unloaded and reloaded from the main screen, press resume to resume the print job. If the act of reloading the release material does not resolve the jam, proceed to the next step of clearing the material pathway using the purge rods. To clear the material pathway using the purge rods, we will first want to unload the ceramic filament. Then we will use a large brass brush to clean the release nozzle and bottom face of the metal heat break. If necessary, use a paper towel to wipe away any remaining debris. This will prevent nozzle contamination upon reinstallation. Once the nozzle and heat break have been cleaned, we will remove the ceramic nozzle to prepare the print head for use of the purge rods. Once the nozzle has been removed, while pressing down on the rear release arm, use the long metal purge rod to carefully push all the way through the inlet tube, idler wheel assembly, outlet tube, and then out through the opening on the underside of the print head. If the rod successfully passes through the print head, we can then remove the purge rod and proceed. However, if the long purge rod is prevented by debris from passing all the way through the print head, we want to clean and clear the pathway from below by completing the following steps. Use the short purge rod to clear the release material pathway from below. Then, we will use one of the cylindrical brushes to clean the lower pathway. Once the entire material pathway has been cleared with the purge rods, we will reinstall the ceramic nozzle and reload the release material. Once nozzle and material have been reinstalled from the main screen, we will press resume to resume the pause print job and verify that the jam has been resolved. If using the purge rods does not resolve the jam and you are unable to successfully load ceramic material, proceed to the next step and install a new replacement nozzle. While your print job is paused, you will be unable to run the remove nozzle utility. Therefore, it is necessary to manually remove the nozzle to complete this step. Unloading the release print material will heat the nozzle enough to safely remove it without damaging the print head. Begin the process of unloading the material. While the nozzle is hot, use the torque wrench to carefully remove it from the print head. Set the old nozzle aside, taking care not to touch the hot nozzle with your bare hands. Next, carefully apply anti-seize lubricant to the new nozzle's threads and use the nozzle wrench to screw the release nozzle in approximately finger tight. Then, unscrew it completely to distribute the anti-seize across the threads. Finally, tighten the nozzle with the nozzle wrench until the wrench clicks. Once the new nozzle is installed, press resume on the main screen to resume the pause print job. If replacing the nozzle effectively resolves the jam, complete the print as usual and discard your old nozzle. However, I would also like to note that using the purge rod can leave a layer of material residue on the inner surface of the lower feed tube, which can lead to additional print jams later. Therefore, you should always replace the lower feed tube after using the purge rod, whether immediately if the print has failed or cannot continue, or once the print has completed successfully. If the material jam persists after completing this troubleshooting workflow, please contact support.